When you think that eating animals is a personal choice, then you took her from the voice of proud along with the of gluttony. Because you take away the position of the victim in the scenario. Animals don't want to be your food. They are don't want to be turned into a commodity. Again, how can you live with yourself? And how can you ask for something that you are not willing to give? You can easily survive on plants only. Eat potatoes, eat rice, eat corn, eat fruit, eat beans, lentils, tofu, seta. But let the animals alone. Peace begins on the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. Place yourself in the position of the victims. That's always that you have to do when you are want to know right from wrong. Since the majority of the people don't choose the sign of a pedophile when to decide if that situation is wrong or not wrong. Since the majority of the people don't choose the position of a rapist to decide if that is wrong or not, I've been pretty sure that most people can understand right or wrong. And therefore, if they are choosing to be a part of an extremely large skilled horror and actually a terrorism to innocent living beings. Then you are actually showing you are immoral. There is no logical sound argument for not choosing in that situation also the side of the victim, the animal. It does not matter that lions in the wild eat other animals. The majority of the animals on the planet do not eat other animals. So stop with an um, appeal to um, arbitrary um, appeal to carnivore behavior fallacy. Please, people. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? It is, un it is unacceptable to ask for something you are not willing to give. Animals don't want to be turned into food. You don't need it to survive. So stop making excuses. Make a plea and go vegan. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat tofu. Again. There are many substitutes in this time and age where you can make your own stuff. And by the way, you have not even to substitute it. You only have to eat a little bit more calories because animal body parts and secretions. Sorry, I call it by what it is. Meat is a euphemism, by the way. You have also a fruit meat. A pub of um, pumpkin is in my country called something like uh, pumpkin meat. It is any substance apart from the fluid. That's what meat. That's the original definition of the word meat. Actually, the meat industry have to be called the animal meat industry because it is also confusing terminology. If they want to say that vegan meat is, a conf is confusing because people are stupid to think people will confuse vegan meats uh, with uh, dead corpse real meat. 
or something like that. I try to talk uh, the way I think they think you are stupid. That's what I mean. The, meat, the, the animal meat, dairy and egg industry are disingenuous and think you are all a bunch of irrational morons and health wits. That's why I find about the rights to call um, only animal milk milk. And where they are so asinine to say, oh, you don't get call vegan burgers, vegan burgers, because uh, uh, me, me, burgers are must make from animal corpses. So pathetic, I think. They're so, sorry if that sounds uh, ageism. Uh, is this uh, discrimination based on age? Your, how old you are? But I just said what I have to say. I hope you understand that I not think that all children are stupid. Basically, I find the majority of people silly or ridiculous, no matter how old they are. Maybe this. Um, that I have learned something in my life is that anybody is the same, no matter if they are uh, Jewish, no matter if they are uh, Muslim or Hindu or Buddhist. No groups are stupid people who make stupid excuses for committing cruelty. If some, yes, lesser than others. For example, in Buddhist communities and in Tao communities and in also some Hindu communities, they don't eat uh, animals or their byproducts or actually the secretions to prefer uh, to um, the way I prefer to call it because it comes from their bodies, so it is fluid. That I end this with saying this. If you are not the victim, don't you mention it entirely and you are not the victim. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty. Like Hima, like James Hammond, and Ida Hamin, Al Qaeda, and many more are done to the Pacific victims. When you are the victim, speak up for the victims. Think global, different, that they are Anthropocentrism is the root of all hatred. It is the root of carnism and speciesism. It is the root on the belief system that our species is the most important species on the planet. Most of the people on the planet are anthropocentrists. Anthropocentrists mainly if that's Anthros, the, Latin, the Greek, the old Greek word for our species, man, the old English word for our species, the old English called our species not humans, the old English called our species a man, they called the female weave and the male wear. By the way. For your information. And then you have also centrist, meaning centered on, focused on. So anthropocentrism means actually, uh, it's actually a religion based on the well being of man. This is a self serving shit store. Make up by us. The creature who claims he is superior to all other life on the planet and therefore have the right to exploit and torment and commodify all other living beings because they believe they are so special. All special little snowflakes.
and I do not even understand why people use self as a curse word. Check out my video here about where I talk about that. Uh, about this stuff. So, forget not to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and like this video if you like it. And forget not when darkness and light become one, the reality splintered away and the truth becomes visible.